All right. Well, hey guys, my name is Katie. I am actually a coach in the Knockout Brigade. Um, I am, uh, which is one of the organizations in the dream team. So I usually lead week one or week two of the new coach calls. And my job this week is just to kind of give you the foundation as you really start to launch your business. So we're kind of in this weird transition week where there's a little bit of week one information that's going to be given and perhaps a little bit of week two information. Hey girl. Um, so I am so pumped, so honored, so excited to be getting you guys really started on this journey. So a little bit about me. I've been coaching for um, over six years now. I, I started coaching really because I knew that I could get my hands on a free t-shirt for finishing a program and every step of the way, I just kind of leaned into curiosity. I started to become very curious about how people were paying for the groceries every week with this coaching thing. I started to really be curious about what made things like Shakeology so different. I started to be curious about how I could potentially um, grow my business to the point where I could extend a maternity leave. And every step of the way, I was just extremely coachable and I was willing to work hard. And so whenever I talk to new coaches and they're getting started on their journey, that's one of the things that I really express is that this is definitely not a business that is going to be a get rich quick kind of thing. There's a lot of hard work and a lot of hard work that goes into what we do. So our job is to motivate and encourage people as they begin their fitness journey or their business journey. And it's also to really um, focus on our health and our fitness as well. And that's the beauty of this business. And that's that's what makes it like just so different as well. So today, um, I am going to kind of dive in the call. Um, my assumption is that you probably have already watched. Uh, there we go. Um, you've probably already watched the new coach kickoff call. And just to sort of refresh your memory a little bit. The new coach kickoff call went over a couple of the basic things. It went over um, the vital behaviors. It went over setting up your EFT management so you can get paid. It went over um, just how, where you, where you can find certain information in your coach online office. And it went over your team page and just the real basic information. So today what we're going to talk about is really number one launching your business if you have not yet. Number two, advertising for a challenge group. And number three, setting up some of your first steps. So first um, first steps to really just killing your business, all right? Um, okay, so during the new coach training, my job and your upline's job is not to hold your hand. It is not to do the work for you, but it is to just make sure that you are getting the tools and the resources that you need to really be um, successful. So here is where it kind of makes a difference. I'm going to chug water real quick. Hold on one second. I really need a straw. All right, so number one, um, it's very important that we show up, right? So at this point, you probably have access to a team page. It might be the Dream Team Coach page. It might be your coach's personally sponsored page. Um, it might be the Knockout Brigade. Wherever you are set up, you're going to find files. You're going to find information in there. And the second place you've probably been added is into the actual Coach Academy. The Coach Academy is going to be set up as units for you to sort of self-pace yourself through. So it's going to have your basic information that's going to help you really launch your business, it's going to help you post effectively on social media, it's going to help you overcome some of those objections. But showing up and being involved is really where you're going to see a difference between the people who start to really see success in their business and the people who maybe are struggling to kind of find their footing. 
So I want you to think about right now in your life, like when can you actually make time for your business? Now, some people come into the business and they have a full-time um, job already. And so I want you to start thinking about, okay, if I work full-time, when are the pockets of time that I can start working my business? Is it in the morning? Is it in the evening? Um, is it during my lunch break? Uh, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom, and I want you to start thinking about, is nap time a good time for you to be working your business? But making time to show up. Now, when I started, I personally committed about an hour to two hours a day to my business because that is all I had. I made sure that I made time to get my workout in, and I made sure that I had time to check in with the challengers and coaches who'd invested in me as their coach. I also made time to create content for the week. So that my content was clean and it was ready to go. Um, number two, the second thing is the one that uh, is so key in setting yourself apart, and that is that you have to be willing to get uncomfortable a little bit. This is not a standard job. It is, there's a lot of freedom, there's a lot of flexibility with it, and you have to be willing to show your own personality. And so people are either going to relate to you, and some people aren't. And so I really want to preface this by explaining to you that what we do as coaches is we help people find their confidence. We help people feel more comfortable in their skin. And that is ultimately going to make some people incredibly uncomfortable. And that's not a reflection of you, but that might be a reflection of where they are in their journey. So sometimes people are not necessarily going to understand or approve or like what you do. You have to be comfortable with that part of it. And number three, my job is to help you guys keep this simple. So there's going to be a couple of tools and resources that we use that I'm going to recommend to you, but I don't want you to get overwhelmed with the amount of information that we have. So first of all, our job at the very basic level is to help people achieve their health and fitness goals, and then to also start the foundation of our own organization. And that is going to be really where it starts. So you have to say, okay, I wanna help people. I wanna help people achieve results. I wanna help people get healthy and fit. And I also wanna build a business. So if that's what you wanna do, we're not gonna get really like, confused or frustrated or just kind of overwhelmed with the amount of information that we have out there, we're going to keep it very simple. And the way that we actually keep it simple is we focus on our vital behaviors. So I'm going to give those to you guys now. And this is also going to be in your coach online office where you can find this information. So number one, our first vital behavior is inviting. And we do that by sharing with people what we're doing, we're launching our business, and we're creating content for people where they can see that we actually have opened the doors to our business. The second way that we do it is by having initial conversations with people that we think would love to join us in the process of what we're doing. Okay, so there's direct invitations, but there's also just letting people know that we are open for business. Um, that's the first vital. The second vital behavior that we really pay attention to is going to be our personal development. And so personal development is sort of the secret sauce of our business because it allows us to have great content for what we're gonna post, but it also helps us keep fresh in our mindset and really positive. And this has been the one thing above all that has completely changed my own life. And it is just filling my cup with things that make me feel good, things that encourage me, things that really keep me fresh in the business. So my two books that I recommend to you, whether you're audio or whether you prefer the text copy, are going to be the book GoPro by Eric Worre, E-R-I-C, -E and then his last name is Worre, um, O-W-O-R-R-E. Um, and the other book I started with personally is um, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And so with those two books, they're, they're kind of two different books. And the re reason I recommend both of them from the beginning is one is very business focused. So um, Eric Worre's uh, The GoPro book is about the type of business that we are in. 
you are in network marketing and network marketing is um, something that most people do not understand um, our income is really based on residual and that is making sure that people are happily and using those programs and products effectively and that's what makes us so different as coaches too is when, when we sign people up as our challengers or as our coaches we are mentoring them through the process because we are on that process with them as well. And so it's not just about selling people a product, it's really about seeing the product through. It's seeing how they use it. It's troubleshooting when they're having issues. When you give someone something like Beachbody On Demand, sometimes they start a workout and it really is not a workout that they're ready for. Or maybe it's a workout that they just aren't enjoying. Something like Beachbody On Demand gives them an entire catalog, a collection of various programs that they can start learning more about. Um, the second thing, the second reason is that with network marketing, there's another part of the business that's educating people on what we do and how we earn and the power of residual income. On the other side, Darren Hardy, um, his book, The Compound Effect, is really about the little things that you do every day, those invitations that you send out, the posts that you do, sharing your recipes, sharing transformations, sharing your pictures, those little things that seem kind of insignificant, like they're not going to be a big deal, are what ultimately create the biggest impact in our businesses and in our income. So those two books really, really helped me kind of get into that mindset of success from the very, very beginning. So invite personal development and being a product of the product. And this is the one that I'm so proud of. Um, and it's that we're using the products ourselves. You can't sell what you don't appreciate and what you don't love. It would be really, really hard for me to sell eyeliner or makeup because I don't really wear it <laughs> and I don't really use it. So I would be really ineffective as a salesperson of those things. With the products that we're using, the Shakeology, the Performance Line, the Beach Body On Demand, we are people who can speak from experience of using it. And so maybe you are in the very, very beginning steps of using those products. And if that's the case, that's awesome because you're actually gonna be able to take people on a journey with you as you get comfortable using Shakeology, as you start to see the differences, as you start to understand how they're impacting your health, your overall health, and even Beach Body On Demand. So when people say like, I don't have that transformation, you are in the best place because you're actually able to walk people through that journey. All right, and then the last vital behavior is recognition. Whether it's recognition of, um, you have a little trouble with that, Kate and Michelle? I'm just teasing you. <laughs> I just saw you think, <laughs> um, Whether you are recognizing yourself as starting the journey or you have challengers or customers, um, or maybe a team member who's had a great transformation, you're gonna be sharing those things. So I really want you to kind of get in this habit of understanding that we speak about the vital behaviors because they are just that. They are vital to the heartbeat of our business and making our, making our income grow, making our businesses grow as well, all right? So, okay, so now that we kind of know the expectations, let's talk about launching our business. So I can't see everybody, but there is a chat bar. If you click on the chat bar on the right, you can comment in there if you can't um, visually see. But if I kind of wanted to see a show of hands, like did we actually launch our business yet? Has it, have we launched it or are we working on it? Where are we with all of that? And you can unmute too if you want to. Just kind of want to know. Do you guys see the chat bar? If you click on the bottom of your screen, you should be able to see like a, a little bubble. Yes, launched. Okay, launched, launched. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we've had a couple launches. So I'm going to kind of speak about this. So if you have not launched, I'm going to screen share with you guys. Uh, my desktop is really messy, so I'm going to apologize for you. This is what I actually send out to my coaches when they start. And I just want to show you an example of how to actually get started. I hope you guys can see this okay. 
And this is basically what I tell them to do. So I tell them to share a little bit of their story, their journey. So I talk to them about, you know, sharing why you decided to sign up as a coach. I talk about just stating why they're starting the journey and that they are here to help others along the way. Um, and you just don't need to overthink it. But the other thing that I encourage them to do is set a clear call to action. And in that clear call to action, you want people to know that you are open for business, that you have a limited number of people that are able to join you on the journey, and that you have a date that you are starting. So you're very clear on the number of people you can help when your journey is starting, and that you, how you want them to act. Do you want them to direct message you? Do you want them to comment below? Do you want them to drop an emoji? No matter what it is, you're connecting them with your story and letting them know that you are open for business. While you're also posting that as your first launch, let's walk through sort of what the first steps are whenever somebody says, okay, Katie, I am, I'm interested. Tell me more about it. So when somebody tells you that they're interested, or maybe they like your post, I want you to think of it as if they just made eye contact with you. So if somebody says like, oh my gosh, that's awesome, congratulations, or oh my gosh, I need this, tell me more about it, or if they simply just like your post, I want you to message every single one of those people. And I want you to say to them something to the effect of, girl, and I, I, I speak like me, so you want to say it how you would say it, but I say something like, girl, I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you so much for just taking a minute to like my post. I know it's kind of a new thing, and it's a little bit um, uncomfortable to put myself out there, but I really, really believe in what I do. I believe in how these programs have impacted me. I know that my transformation is making me feel good. You kind of fill in the blank there with your own testimonial. And then I want you to end it by saying, like, is this something that I can share with you? Would you like to know more about it? And you're asking them a question at the end of your direct message or your email or however you contact them. And you're letting them know that you're open for business, but you are there to help them. From there, you wait for them to respond. Once they respond, you want to just ask them some general questions. They might say, yes, I'm interested, or I don't know, I'm curious about it. The first thing that I always do is I just say, okay, well, tell me a little bit about you. Tell me a little bit of your goals. You know, have you been on a fitness journey before? Have you been a yo-yo dieter? Have you ask them the questions? What kind of fitness do you like? Any question that you really can ask that's going to get them to sort of help that conversation. Once you sort of open the doors to that conversation, you're really, really building trust with them. Um, what I do is I send out, um, and this is kind of where I sort of use a script to go off of. Um, I know that I've posted it in my team page. I've posted it in the Influence Academy, um, but I will make sure to share it with your upline too so that you can actually converse with people as you begin, as you kind of get a little bit more comfortable with talking to people about what you're doing. All right? So once you've done that, once you have kind of had those conversations and you've launched your business, I want you then to start getting into the habit of sharing your story, sharing your journey. What I suggest is either A, Instagram, Instagram stories, and also your Facebook page. So wherever you know that your audience is connected, you're going to start actually going there. You do not need to set up a new page. Use your personal page, use your Instagram page, and just start giving your business. And you're not gonna make every post that you do a call to action. But I like to think of it as a call to think. You are calling people to start thinking about their well being. You are calling people to start thinking about their journey. You are calling people to really see themselves in your position. Okay, so then from there, once you start getting into this habit, you want to start putting out there every once in a while, maybe every three or four posts 
about the challenge group, how many spots have filled up, who has reserved their spots. So they see that there's this excitement, that people want that, that people are excited about it, and it calls them to move a little bit faster. Um, all right, so let's see. Sharing your story, why you got started, help them by the day, um, and if you have a transformation. The other thing, too, that I kind of give out to people is I don't really tend to use the word beach body all the time in my posts. Um, I really just talk about coaching. I talk about supporting my clients. I talk about my mommy go juice, which is my energize or my nutritional shake, because it does evoke this curiosity with people as to what I am doing. All right. Okay. So questions so far. Um, anything about like your first post? Any questions you guys might have for me about that? I want to pick my brain a little bit. No questions? Okay. All right. So after that initial post, you were going to curate that curiosity. We're going to, we're going to make people really curious about what we do. So we're going to give them glimpses into our lifestyle. So I like to think of my IG as sort of like a magazine. So if you look at my IG, it's kind of clean, it's crisp. I only really post on the grid itself once a day. But when you go into my stories, you're going to notice that I am more bold with invitations. I'm running a lot of polls on there. I am sharing more about what I do with coaching in my stories. It's almost as if somebody is taking that magazine cover and they're opening it up and they are saying like, okay, like, I, okay, this, this outside looks good, but what goes on in the inside? What goes under the cover? Like what, what sort of, how does this all work? And I really give them that inside scoop into my business. I give them the inside scoop into what I do, how I earn and all that kind of stuff in my, my stories. I also like stories cause it's fun. Um, I don't have to overthink it. Um, I just, I just can kind of post. I share my lifestyle. I share what I do as a coach. Um, and I just share like the transformation. So it's not filtered and it's a little bit more like messy almost, but it's really candid and real. So that's another piece of it. Um, share yourself as a guide, not necessarily a, I have all the answers for you. Remember too, you're just starting this journey, so you're starting to establish yourself as credible. And so in order to share yourself and show yourself as credible, that's really showing yourself too as somebody who's just figuring it out too. And it's making it sound like, okay, this is more of a, I want to be on this journey with you. I, I'm going to guide you, yes, but we're going to kind of do this together and make it fun. The more you share, the more people realize that you're enjoying it, that you're having fun with it, that you're seeing results with it, that you're feeling better with it, you're feeling more confident with it. And you're like genuinely happier the more that people want to see what it's all about. They want to see what you're doing and they know that they want to be a part of it as well. All right. So, um, okay. So once you have done that, I just want to establish what sort of my goals were from the very beginning, um, building up this business. So I, I do like to share how it has grown over the last few years. So like I said, I've been doing this for six years. Um, I've always been incredibly coachable. When I started, it was for a free t-shirt. Um, and then it was also just being curious. I was curious how people were making an income doing this. I was curious if this could help me pay for the groceries. I was curious if this could help me um, pay for a maternity leave. And so every step of the way, my coach was like, Katie, you know, the one thing that's really going to help you do this is to do these two things every month day day in and day out just consistently if you can consistently do these things you will build a business and so and this is something that i still use to this day um she told me that it was number one hit success club and so success club if you've kind of gone over the coach online office or the new coach call success club is helping three people do exactly what you just did when you signed up when you purchased your challenge pack you are going to help three people do that same thing. So you're going to help three people on their health and fitness journey. 
when you sell three challenge packs or three Shakeologies on Home Direct, that is worth two points. When you earn a total of six points, you have earned Success Club for the month. Now, with that said, that's my minimum. And so I never look at just helping three people a month because that's incredibly, incredibly easy and it's incredibly doable. You're, you're just having three people a month, totally doable. Once I help those three people though, I always kind of like benchmark myself. I always kind of lift that goal up. I always do just a little bit more. So three people a month is always like the basic foundation of success. And then the other is Emerald. So Emerald Coach is a coach who has personally sponsored two coaches. And that is going to be the first two people that you sign up to do what you are doing as a coach or somebody who is just interested in receiving the discount on programs and products. And I pro I'm sorry about the noise. They're actually doing work on my closet upstairs. So I apologize for that. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. <laughs> so uh, that's your first couple goals. So Success Club, when you do it your first three months as a coach, you actually earn your ticket to Summit. And that's a huge event that we have. It's a huge accomplishment. And so I really, really want to make sure that you guys kind of know that. So you want to start off by, number one, being really clear about when your start date is for your challenge group. Set your goal. How many people do I want to have in my first challenge group? How many people do I want to invite into a challenge group that my coach is running and that I'm going to be doing along with my coach? Um, and then you want to give that call to action. Maybe you've already posted about it. I encourage you to also email people that maybe you're friends with or your family is with. And then I think to myself, like when I was starting this, if I get really excited, right? And they give this example this weekend and I loved it. So Carrie Underwood is coming to Pittsburgh. I love me some Carrie Underwood. Um, she's phenomenal. We got like great tickets. I went, I'm going with two of my best friends. We got super, super pumped for it and super excited about it. Nobody was asking questions about like, well, what are all the details? Give me the specifics. They just saw how excited I was for this concert. And then we worked through the details. So my question for you is, if you're really excited about what you're doing as a coach, do you think that it might be worth it to share what you're doing as a coach and invite other people to do the coaching thing along with you. Is this something that you could share with friends or fellow you know, fitness junkies or fellow um, family members who would wanna coach along with you? Who would feel that excitement from you and say, oh my gosh, I really wanna do this with Christy or Tracy. I really wanna jump in with this. So I also encourage you to start thinking about who do you wanna coach with? Like, who do you want on your team? And start asking those questions as well, all right? So, um, let's see. We talked about challenge groups, having a date for it, um, sharing your journey. Uh, let's see. All right, so I think we'll just go through just a couple of last-minute tips about making a great post. So, number one, it should absolutely, uh, it should definitely show your personality. Show your style, your goals, who you are. Um, talk exactly how you talk in real life. You should speak how you speak. Uh, use the same words. You should focus on your story. So being vulnerable with the struggles and how this is helping you overcome those struggles. You want to start thinking about the type of person that you want to appeal to, that you think would really be interested in this. And then I just use. Um, very clean images. Social media loves like crisp, clean images. And most of mine, I just take in natural light. So when I have a natural light, I notice that they're a little bit brighter, they're easier to sort of filter, and they're just more eye engaging. They're more, they pop a little bit more. So I do suggest that. Um, and then also showcasing results, like transformations, whether they're your own or whether they're somebody in your team or they're somebody that you maybe have started coaching with. And then also that sense of urgency. So how many spots are available? When does the group start? How many, um, you know, how do you want them to uh, respond to the post? Do you want them to direct message you? 
Do you want them to drop an emoji? Do you want them to comment below? And just have fun with it as well, all right? Questions? Okay, let's do our like call to action. So I'm gonna screen share with you guys one more time just so I can give you guys what you should be doing now. All right, so now let's make sure that at least once a day we are checking into our coach basics. It might be called the Influencer Academy. It might be in your team page. It might be just if you're not in it, ask your upline where it is, okay? Number two, um, start thinking about how to post. For me, I post on Instagram once a day. I post on Facebook usually once or twice a day. So just kind of getting into that habit of posting, thinking about content. Not everything is a call to action, but most are a call to think. Um, getting people to see your story, share your story, getting people engaged with that. Also, being resourceful and asking questions when you don't understand. Your academy, your influencer academy, your coach basics, the units in there are set up and they're designed to help you find information easily. And then look for resources. Look for anything that's going to help you kind of tweak and shift and change up what you're doing so that you can get more engagement. Um, all right, so... That is all I have for the training portion of the call, but I want to see if you guys have questions for me. Do you want to talk about your first post? What do you What do you want to chat about for the next like few minutes? Anybody have any questions? It's a quiet group. Okay, do you want me to let me unmute you? All right, you're good, Michelle. Okay, so my question is that I already sent out my first post and I made it so that I said that I could only invite three or whatever yeah. um, to the first challenge group. But here I am thinking that maybe that was too small of a number. Um, is there a way to make it so that I could invite like five? Absolutely, totally. So keep the post, don't change the post at all. Right. Um, and what I would do is I would um, have your conversations, start talking to people, and then in another post, I would do something that's like, oh my gosh, we were so excited and overwhelmed with the amount of people who have committed to making their health a priority, to losing weight, to whatever it is. And then I, she actually um, is allowing me or we're actually opening up the doors for three more spots. Uh, this is going to okay. go fast. Let me know if you want me to save one of those spots for you is what I would do. Perfect. In post. Okay. Sounds good to me. And usually I'm really, really flexible. So usually like I personally, um, I stay committed to about 10 people, like helping 10 new people a month. That's kind of where I am now in my business. Yeah. Because I really want people to have that benefit of working with me and getting to know me and knowing my personality. So I just make sure that if it fills up fast, that I just let people know that I am opening the doors to X amount more or this many more, whatever it might be. Um, I've launched my business. Uh, sorry for the delay. Great call so far. Okay, cool. Um, and I want you to know too, just on the flip side, right? So let's say that we've launched our business and we don't get great feedback. Okay. So maybe we don't have a lot of people that have responded because that does happen. There are times still, and I really want to be transparent about this. There are still times in my business where I will post it and I won't get a lot of traction. I won't get a lot of feedback. It's totally fine. We might need to tweak your words. So we might need to say it a little bit differently. Um, it might have been a, like just a really random time to post and people weren't on social media. So I really want you to think about like if it didn't do well, maybe just post it again. Because chances are people didn't even see it. And the rule of thumb is that about 10% of people on a regular basis are going to see your post. So even if you put it out once and you didn't get a lot of feedback, 
you might put it out at a different time, um, a different day of the week, and get better feedback. So it's kind of that part of it too. I'm getting feedback, almost six people interested, then they went dark. Okay, so you started those conversations with them. So if you don't hear back, and this is something more we talk about next week when it comes to objections, because we are going to get objections. And I really, really think objections are good because it makes you get uncomfortable. It makes you kind of get get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Please know that an objection is not an objection of you. The objection is an objection of, of not knowing or understanding or having enough information. So what I often do is I will take those objections and I will often make a post of it. If somebody goes dark, you want to remember that they're not always just thinking about beach body. So you're in beach body mode. You sign up as a coach, you're excited, you're pumped. So it's on your mind, right? It's fresh in your mind all the time. You are thinking about your business. For people who aren't working the business, they're not thinking about it all the time. So a lot of times when somebody goes dark, um, they just forget. They honestly just forget. And maybe too, you haven't been popping up in their timeline. So maybe you haven't been posting as much. Or maybe your times that you post aren't quite on the same page as where they are. So if they go dark, I usually send them another message and it says, hey, I know how interested you were in the upcoming like challenge. I just wanted you to know I have a spot sort of taken, like set aside for you, but I can only hold it for a couple more days. Is this something that you are still interested in? And so I, I ask them another question to engage them. If I still don't hear back from them in another one or two days, I actually will say like, Hey, Christy, I noticed you still haven't responded. Totally understand. I know life gets busy. My kids have been crazy, so I get it. Um, I just have to ask, though, have I offended you in some way? And I use that line because nobody ever wants to, like, feel like, oh, my God, she thinks I offended her. It always gets them talking. It always gets them to open the doors up. And it also gives them permission to know that even if they aren't ready to commit, you'll be ready to work with them next month. I haven't get, been getting as much attention and love on my page lately. Totally normal. Do you recommend posting content more than once? What are the most popular times to post on Facebook and Insta moms? Okay, so this is different for everybody. So um, Christy, I am 30, student 36, and I've noticed that my times are very different now than they were when my kids were really, really little. And so part of that is just a lot of them are working during the day. Um, and so my time is usually 8 and really early in the morning. So usually like 7, 6.30, 7 a.m. is actually when I post. Um, so it could be your time. It could also just be that your your content might not be quite connected with them. So it might be that um, people just want to see content where you're offering value. So maybe giving a couple of recipes, sharing a couple of articles that you found wonderful or something like that would be good. You just might need to switch it up a little bit. And that's normal because you don't want every post that you do to be about like join my challenge group, join my challenge group. You want to give, give, give and then ask. Give, 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 and then ask. Cool, very cool. What other questions you guys have? Anyone else? Okay, so. Couple of things, just reminders. Check your Coach Basics or your Academy, whatever it's called, daily. They're set up in units, so you should be pretty organized with how to look over it. Reach out to your coach if you have questions, but let's make sure that we're being resourceful. So we're checking our Coach Online office, that breaking news tab um, in there. And also, um, the one site I didn't tell you about at the beginning is just coachfaq.com. I'll put it in the chat bar. Um, it's right below. Uh, that is a great resource for you. So if you're like, all right, I need to know this sale. I want to know a little bit more about Beach Body on Demand. I want to know about Energize. I need information about Shakeology. You can find all your information there. It has everything. That you need. So, all right. That is all I got for you guys. And I even finished four minutes early. I'm super proud of me.
Awesome. You're welcome. All right, guys. I'm so excited to see you guys launch your businesses. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to achieve success club this month because it's going to happen. And I am just excited to be a part of it. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy days. And um, please make sure you reach out if you guys have any questions. All right. All right. Cool. Have a great one. Bye, guys. See ya.